Hi YouTubers, knife painting, I mustn't neglect my friends on YouTube, uh, I've been doing a lot on Patreon lately, uh, knives, oh. none of them are really cheap, they're, they're all good quality, Winter and Newton, Pro Art, uh, my main ones are these two, this uh, sort of laying on trowel, and a small one like that they get very sharp with the years of use so when you when you wipe the paint off because you've got to keep these things clean there's always a danger that you'll miss and you'll go through your finger and they will they will believe you me I'll put them there um, this is a piece of hardboard <coughs> it's been oh excuse me <coughs> I've been bringing in a bit of a bit of white spirit, I don't know what you call white spirit, Turp substitute in America. <coughs> it's not very good for my chest, that's why I don't use, use all these stuff for, for the brush paintings. But the oil painting is just straight on and just you don't need to clean brushes because we're not using any. I have plenty of paper, big rolls of paper, it's as big as a painting. I bought another one this morning because I, I, I'm going to go more into knife painting I think. I love doing it and I've done watercolours now five years solid with probably a couple of hundred brush paintings, acrylics and abstracts and so on and a few knife paintings in oil. So there's plenty for everybody. Now uh, I'm going to, I'll tell you what my palette is, I can't show you, well I can show you but not that it matters, but there we are. There's, there's my palette. So we've, we've got um, we've got some cadmium yellow light, yellow oak, a load of white, and I've used, I'm using this alkyd resin paint. It's titanium white. Uh, vermilion, ultramarine, some whether I use it or not, I don't know. Some cerulean, burnt umber, uh, some uh, burnt sienna, and some black. I like black, it, it mixes very well with the cadmium yellow light. <coughs> oh dear, it gives a good shortcut to greens. I'm not a great lover of, of ready made greens. You use a, a limited palette, the basic colours I've just given you, apart from the serenium, and learn the mixes, learn what you can do with them. Rather than, <coughs> because you haven't got a, the, the desired effect for a cloud colour or a bit of landscape, it's because largely you don't know your mixes and, and throwing other colours into it, it doesn't make much difference other than makes it more complicated. So sort out your seven or eight colours and and stay with them. And when you're confident that you can you can mix colours up at will and and I remember Nancy Kaminsky years ago on television. She was loving knife painting, she's very enthusiastic and and she gave me a lot of uh, inspiration in those early days of my twenties. A long, long time ago, and I tried it, but it, it takes some getting used to. But she used to mix all her colours up and mixes up <coughs> first. But I don't do that. I don't do that. I, I mix them as I go. Now this this is what I'm going to do. It's a watercolour that I did a few weeks ago. Uh, there we go. I'm going to do something like that. Not every subject lends itself to knife painting, unless you're very skillful with it and can do lovely trees and so on. I just make an impression. So I'm going to, I'm just going to mix that Griffin alkyd resin paint in. I'm going to, I'm going to slightly off white, so a bit of, bit of yellow ochre in there, just a touch. That's all I, all I want. And I'm going to just, oh, I just want to alter that a bit. Uh, so there, then I can see now the back of the picture, the top of the picture. And I, I don't paint right to the edge. I've got a frame. I'll show you the frame. It's only a cheapo 
a classy type of frame. There we go. But around the back of it, look, I've got some panel pins, veneer pins, all the way around, around it. So that when I put the wet board or canvas into this frame, the nails just hold the can or the, the board off of the back of the frame so that it doesn't stick. Because there's nothing worse than li lifting a painting out of the frame a couple of weeks later to find it pulls the edge off your picture. So remember that little, little tip. There's not a lot, I mean, it's, it's a case of just have a go yourselves. So I'm not doing any drawing, I'm just going to go straight in and just. Uh, Keep it nice and simple, K-I-S-S, -S. keep it simple, stupid. I could have primed this with some white household emulsion, but I'm never sure whether it will actually stick. This is artist quality. Well, the, this, uh, the white is anyway. And the idea of it is that it helps, because it mixes with all the other colours, it helps to dry, to dry them out. And this generally, in a warm environment, over a fireplace or something, they'll dry overnight. And I've got my burnt umber, that's also a, a uh, Griffin alkyd resin I'm going to come down to about halfway for my tree and then just come down so the horizon will be about there. That's the general idea. Then I can superimpose over this thin paint some cloud. I like grey skies and I like stormy skies. Be prepared to use quite a bit of paint. Just giving this general tint of uh, I might of um, yellow ochre just to just to warm it, warm the sky. We don't really get white skies; we get slightly white skies. They're always colouring cloud. You can work it in into all the little dimples. Yeah, hard, but it's just just roughed up with a bit of bit of um, glass paper, sandpaper. Try a bit of sienna, bit of burnt sienna in there as we come a bit lower. I might have to do this in two parts, but I should. But I will upload both parts on onto YouTube. Yesterday I did half the painting on YouTube and the other half on Patreon. But as you can imagine, these paints they all cost money, and it gives you an opportunity to pay something towards the channel. Or make me rich. Something's got in there, what it is. And coming down, let's, let's go down to about, I could have drawn this out with a pencil really, but. But it's not going to be a copy, it's, it's going to be based on. Now we want we do want that sort of like raw white in here. So we'll have a sort of no, we'll come down further. We'll have the horizon about there. It's just as hard doing the sky as it is anything else. And once I've got this this whitey, the off-white colour on, I'll start to develop the 
the clouds and I'm probably using a bit of uh, blue and a bit of black. Black's a very useful colour. People say it punches holes in, holes in your picture. Well, it does if you put it on just a great slob of, of black. But mixed with other colours, it's a beautiful shortcut. Now, this we want to thin out here because that's where the landscape's going to go in. So, just push it in. I used to use this Griffin paint a lot in when I did a lot of Venice paintings years ago. I had a gallery commission to do 80 and I'd, I'd never done, I'd never even been to Venice. But it doesn't matter, I haven't been to the places I paint. They're largely figments of the old imagination such as it is. But with the Venice you just used to pinch a bit from one painting and adapt it, just move things around a bit. People paid a lot of money for them as well. Right, well, drink me tea. Not fair, it's, it's all nice and... But, but you can put your brush strokes in when you put the harder stuff, on, stuff in, like the the, cloud, the, the heavier clouds. Oh, let's just come down. The idea is to work from top to bottom. If you do it the other way, you tend to get your fingers in the paint that you've already put on, but working down. <coughs> guards against that. I'll make an exception. Look, see, I'll put my finger in that. It's a messy old job. <coughs> right, uh, a bit more. I'm keeping it thin where I'm going to put more paint so it won't merge too much. Okay, now I'll just, just put in where the water is going to go in this estuary. Okay, that's just a an aid memoir. Now we'll put a bit of cloud in. Now I'm going to use a bit of a bit of blue, a bit of black, just a little bit of black, and then a lump of white. And more blue. You can use burnt umber instead of the black. Maybe that would be a better, better idea, better option. Okay, clean the knife and then put some on and you can merge, blend away. So try not to repeat yourself like I just have. I'll just merge to your heart's content till till you're happy 
with what you've done and we'll have these coming coming over pointing to a sort of a light bit in the, the middle Put a bit of colour in there. Now yesterday's sky, not you see your fingers, but get really, really covered. So I'm wearing a, a, a an apron. Does anybody in the UK know where to get a online a good apron? I've got this one from Argos, but it's too small. It's okay as an apron, but when you sit, I sit down, so the thing rides up. <coughs> I want one of those aprons, like a carpenter's apron, that comes right down to, but well below the knees and quite high in big pocket, so when I sit down, my knees are covered. My tea is gradually getting cold. Right, just a little bit, a bit, of, bit of lighter. Lighten that cloud colour, colour here. So that will go over this and make that white. Hopefully, the light here look a bit lighter. And I want to get that that nice oakery look in there. But not enough. I, I'm copying the watercolour for this. The light's coming from somewhere, but we don't really know. And then put a little bit in, in here. And I think we could afford a bit darker on the top. A bit of red and a bit of blue. And we'll see what happens when we put that on. There's a bit of a million and uh, There's a little bit of bit of drama to an otherwise placid scene. Soften, don't make it too even. So that gives a little bit of a lift to that, and we'll have a probably just a little bit. Just be creative. Okay, that just adds a bit of interest in that sky. Now I want to put in, um, I'll just clean, clean off the palette. My paints are squeezed out on a piece of greaseproof oven paper that I've clipped to a makeshift table. 
And I'll show you. Oops. This slide, you there. Huh? It's a marvellous uh, thing, pretty cheap. These come in sort of ready cut pieces that slide out. You're not careful, it's very slippy. So it's cutting them, but there's only £1.49 for 24 sheets. I thought that's pretty good. Right, so now we're going to come in there and put in, a, um, I'll mix up a bit of, bit of red, a bit of blue, a big dollop of white. That would be for my distance, but I want it a bit, a bit on the red side. Uh, let's, uh, Here, it's a bit of distance. Going to next to nothing there. Okay, probably a bit lighter than that now. Try to get it horizontal. A bit of variety. And coming into there. I'm not a lover of uh, of straight lines even bring the sky into your land and your land into the sky it's just said and done try to merge Okay, so that's that bit. Now, I'm going to use a bit of a lizard if I can find it. Uh, prob probably not, not in the... I can't see that. Bear with me a moment. I meant to get the, to get the lizard out. I've got so many paints here. Crimson. This is an artist quality, so spare no expense. But I've got to get the lid off. That's what pliers come in handy for. That's it. Got it. Swig of tea. <coughs> Put that on the top there. He wants a little bit. Mix with a burnt umber and a bit of white for my next plane going up there. So, so let's have a bit of, bit of, bit of umber. And we'll this can be coming across. Uh, right, I'm going to use a different knife now. Use my my favourite knife. <coughs> Got to remember counter change as well, light against dark. So I'm a bit dark. A bit of dark there. A 
Apart from that, I think. A really good dark is uh, Sienna, burnt Sienna. And uh, Ultramarine, I might even put a little bit of uh, a bit of light on the edge of that slope. Okay, it's not quite horizontal. Oh, that is. Okay, so now we'll just carry on with that colour up the slope and we'll just bring some of this down. Get a bit in there. So a bit of the shadow and a bit lighter on some of the very colours in all this. You don't want it all looking the same. A bit of yellow over that as we're coming into the light. I'm going to put a tree on the top of that. They just get different colours. Your ochres, a bit of red, a bit of alizarin, a bit of sienna, a bit of ochre. Don't mix your colours too much. Leave some variety on the knife. See, there's no counter change there between that and, and that bit behind. So I'm going to lighten, lighten that somewhat and put a put a light bit there. So that's that's my counter change. Catching a bit of light. down right, more paper <laughs> not sure I like that let's just smooth it out a little bit Okay, so now back to the uh, other colours, the darker, darker ones. We come down. We can start putting rocks and things. Some greens in there. A lovely green can be got from uh, cerulean and cabin yellow. See, now we're just adding little bits of bits of texture and. Colour. I'll we'll go all the way down with that, but we want some some greys. So I'll use 
the light colours on the palette. Bit of blue. Been the start of my modelling of rocks. So just bung that in like that. We can have some others sort of poking through. They might not show so it's a bit a little bit lighter. Okay. Want to get that more. Uh, I want some a bit of blue on the top there. Just make that ledge a bit more leggy. Okay, that too. Right now, let's just I just want to get a bit of colour in with uh, the, those rocks on the, the right head. We've just got a bit dull there. Let's bring some of that in down there. All right, now, a bit of dark green, so black and yellow. Bit of sienna. You take it for granted that's burnt sienna. I'm talking about this only sienna I've got. So let's just put in a bit of a bit of a tree. Catch a bit of light. Little dark. Okay, now we'll add a bit of cerulean. A bit of white. And we'll just put a bit on the old slope here. Can mute that with a bit of sienna. If it's just a bit too green. A bit more shadowy stuff here. Yeah. Okay, all, all all helps the the illusion. Getting okay, high spots. Okay, now look at that brilliant green now. Catching that light. Yeah, that separates it a little bit more, doesn't it? <coughs> okay, just a bit on the right. I'm, I'm, I'm not really happy about that. That bit there. More paper. Tea's too cold now. I, I, I'll put in a bit of off white. Just to add a little bit of a bit of je ne sais quoi. Right now, the trees in there. So a bit of the black, a bit of yellow, a bit of sienna.
put that green on it, just sort of say leaves. Okay, now we'll go in with the, some beachy stuff on there. This lovely yellowy, but all sorts of colours in here. Oh, it's just got a bit, of, a bit of dark in with those trees. The counter change against the slope there. don't disturb the paint. The whole point of this is <coughs> trying to not overworking it. But easier said than done, isn't it? One more paper. And get some ochre. Sienna. Put some uh, C in there, in there. Let's have some dark. Oh, Saturday tomorrow. Where's the week gone? And I finished paid work. I'll try and do this in one. Just gonna put some some water in there now. Coming in the mix here. Could you that painting is easy? It isn't. It takes a use of practice, but it's not impossible. Put it that way. If I could learn to do it, so can you. You just see the rubbish I used to do. Still do. Put some, some reflections in some of that. Okay, keep going with the ochres. Umber, a bit of, bit of uh, alizarin. 
bit of ultramarine. These lovely contrasts going. paper. <coughs> Some grey. Very grey. I'm only guessing this. Okay, we'll, we'll do a bit of peachy stuff there. <coughs> uh, this one who's used by itself is not such a great idea. all the time creating an illusion of stuff going on okay now good good uh, beach color is uh, burnt umber a bit of a bit of uh, ochre four grounds quickly and then leave them alone. Reflection. Bit of dark. If I do another one tomorrow. I 
I'll have a, a new piece of, uh, well, a new start. Just try to separate the planes. I don't use white, but it's sort of off white. Uh, a bit of dark in here. Not in. Otherwise engaged. A bit of a bit of ripply stuff in there. Rough it up. Okay. reflections in okay uh, Of impasto. Get me out of that difficulty with that cloud on the left there. If you like this sort of painting, go and have a look at Catherine Williams on Google. Died. I think 2004, fantastic artist, knife work, <coughs> very drab some of his work but it, but it reflects the, the, the amount of water, moisture, rain that uh, North Wales and that part of England above it, Lake District gets. I think there's quite a lot going on in there. I'm not going to put a person in there. That's, I just want to, ah, that's... Better. I can't see anything else wrong with that. I'm going to put it in the frame, as if it's worth it. So bear with me for a few, a few seconds. So I need to nail it in, otherwise it might fall over into all the paint. I will be doing a quite a large one in due course, but I'm not really ready for that. So there we are, I've got another another sort of a coastal scene that is more like Sort of an inlet in, say, uh, Devon, 
but it doesn't exist. It's it's completely fabricated, but there's loads of colour in it. <coughs> so I say, look, lots and lots of variety in there. That guy has ruined it. They will show up. They're 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 sort of just greys, greys that get overlooked, but they they all have meaning. Uh, right, that's, I can't, don't think I'll zoom out anymore. I'm just going to move the camera back a bit because I'm, I'm, in, I'm fully in with the zoom. So I'll move that back to there. And also that. Then you can see, see what it's like. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm not going to put any birds on in because I would ruin it. For one reason, that trying to get up with a brush into that was just another day maybe. So I hope you enjoyed that folks. Have a go yourself, get your paints out, get a couple of knives and have some fun. But remember, if you, if you, you only need one, student, uh, one artist quality and that would be the Griffin Alkid, Minzer Newton. But no matter what other paints you use, student quality, most of mine are Winton because they came, when I bought them 20 years ago, in 200mm tubes, which is a lovely, lovely size. Okay, right. See you soon. Bye-bye.